You're watching Whitetail Video Magazine. I'm Michael Moon. So glad you could be with me today. You know, the season's not that far away. It seems like it is, but it's really not. We're approaching the end of April here, but October 1st is just around the season here in Oklahoma, and there's plenty to do. And the biggest thing that we're looking at today is food plots. I found a new seed provider, and I'm gonna tell you about them today. I highly recommend them. I'm gonna to continue to buy from some of the ones that I've been buying from, but I am heavily gonna experiment this year with this company, and I'm gonna tell you about it here in just a second. Hey, if you like this video, go ahead and click like for me. Recently, I was in a little town, southwestern Oklahoma, not far from where I live. I took a wrong turn. I ended up coming to this building and the, the sign on the front caught me. It said green cover seed. And immediately it, it hit me where I'd heard that name before. I'm a big fan of Growing Deer TV with Dr. Grant Woods. I've been watching it for years. Uh, I have a like passion with this man. I always wanted to do what he's doing, uh, but I wasn't able to. I had God had other plans for me. Uh, I watched an episode where he was frost seeding spring release by green cover seed. And at that time he hadn't made an official announcement, but a few weeks later, he made the announcement that they had partnered together with Green Cover Seed. Immediately, I was interested in what was going on there and I subscribed to their channel and started watching lots of their videos, which I highly recommend. Um, but what I found was a great product, but I really couldn't afford the shipping on it because I live in Oklahoma, they're in Nebraska. Well, when I saw this building there, I thought, could that be the same company? and kind of forgot about it a couple of days later i gave them a call and sure enough it was the exact same company i want to um, experiment and, and try something different this year i've been yeah. planning lab lab mostly just uh single species you know yep. lab lab uh, milo or sorghum whatever you want to call it and uh, uh cow peas yep but i really want to try that summer release blend yeah and see what it does i especially have marys that are going to be newer soil that i'm opening up mm -hmm. um that i'll be no-tilling this in so okay okay um what was the previous history on that last year i planted um i planted a blend my own blend that i made up of sorghum um black eyed peas and then uh, iron and clay cow peas mm -hmm. and they did good except the deer came in even though it was a bigger area and they picked out they nip all, off. all of the cow peas. <laughs> yeah, so that summer release mix, as you can see here, um, it's got sun, hemp, cow peas, mung beans, guar. Um, all those are gonna be really warm season. You're probably really familiar with the cow peas. Spineless okra, wow. Okra is one that they'll, they'll uh, pick off the pods we've seen. Um, Okra has some. You can plant this right now. Well, not yep. not quite. Just but, just about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I usually do. Um, if we get a cold rain on this stuff, it seems like it does stun it. I tend to wait a little bit longer. The rule of thumb is that I use is sixty degree soil temperature at seven o'clock in the morning, and have an av going to be average of that yeah. over a week. But when it's seven o'clock in the morning, that's going to be your coldest soil temperature, and so that's. That's kind of the rule of thumb that I use on, on soil temperature of when, when to plant. Look at this. They have a garden mix. So, yep. Yeah, we do a little bit of everything. We got a milpa garden mix. It's got your cucumbers, watermelon, cantaloupe, huh. okra. Uh, wow. There's a, there's a little bit of everything. Well, so, this is going to be, this will be fun. Yeah. This yeah. Be fun. I'm glad you found this. Deer being browsers, they require a certain amount of tannins in their diet. And so when they're really small and short cow peas and, and, and uh, Austrian winter peas, sun hemp, they all have a really high t tannin dose. Mm -hmm. And so that, that kind of helps that animals, uh, those animals digest protein better. If it's growing really quickly, your sugar content is spread out through that plant. And so once you start getting to the flowering stage, your sugar content really right. spreads peaks and that's when they start grazing it again they'll you'll watch you'll watch them target certain species at certain um stages usually it has a lot to do with that maturity stage and that's why we like diversity in there is they'll 
Right. They'll eat on one thing, and the next week they'll find something else. I saw Dr. Grant. He went and uh, frost-seeded, I think mm -hmm. it was your spring release. Yep, yep. Of course, they're different. You know, mm -hmm. ground's yeah. different. Oh, yeah. Humidity yep. levels, <laughs> rainfall, all that's different than where we're at. But yep. I'm wondering if I could do something like that, you know, say in February here mm -hmm. or... Well, and even a lot of that spring release, and then and then drill this summer release into it. Yeah, and well, and vice versa. You could take the summer release. I think you could do a lot of that in the fall with the spring release because a lot of those clovers, like crimson clover, white clovers, mm -hmm. um, and they're annual Persian clovers. clovers right? They yeah, they're annual, but they'll overwinter here. We're far enough south that you could see this in September, October. Take a little bit of your brassica release some turnips and radishes and, and is there alfalfa colors. in that or there's alfalfa in there you're saying, you're saying the sun hemp is highly attractive yeah so university of nebraska actually um uses sun hemp in their soybean uh, plot trials your their yield trials to pull deer away from soybeans that's amazing um they're they run about 35 percent protein um potentially but again they have plenty of tannins to help those animals digest that that protein cool. so it's a tropical plant uh -huh. um so it does use some moisture but once it's established it's very hardy even even in southwest oklahoma it it uh is very hardy here it gets a very good deep tap root um it's a high lignin plant in the stock so they actually make rope out of it in india on the stock side of it um but uh um once it gets established, it's very hardy. Deer really are attracted to it. So cool. Well, I'm excited to try it, man. I sure appreciate your help. Yeah, no problem. Um, yeah, we'll get this in the ground. Okay. We also bought Milpa Garden Seed. We wanted to check that out. We're going to plant the largest garden we've ever planted in our lives. We're going to plant about two acres around our house, which is not only going to supply us food, it's going to uh, benefit the ground, but the deer are going to come and they're going to pound it, so are my goats as well. So we're going to enjoy that. Ground temperatures are coming up. I'm going to be putting that in the ground shortly. Uh, but I'm really excited about green cover seed and everything that's in there, the, the guar beans, the, the, the different varieties of cow peas. I'm, I've got a, a, some lab lab that's going in too. So here's the plan. This is what I'm going to do. I've got uh, 10 acres that I'm putting in total. I've got eight acres that are going to be food plots and then two acres that are going to be slash garden food plot uh, going to be around the house. That 10 acres is going to consist of lab lab, sorghum, or Milo, whichever you want to call it, uh, summer release blend, and then our Milpa garden seed. So I'm excited about that. I want to show you something here that's really awesome. Check this out. See if, if you can pick this up from them, uh, from Green Cover Seed. It's a great resource. You know, if you, want to, if you want to grow bigger bucks, if you want to maximize their potential, you've got to have good nutrition. And that's what we're doing this year. We've got a number of bucks that are going to do very well. We're going to give them the best of the nutrition that we can give them. I've gone ahead and put links in the, in the uh, this description and on screen as well. You can go to greencoverseed.com and order and check them out on the back side. Uh, just like I had a great conversation with Brett Peshek there at uh, Mountain View at their facility. They've got a number of facilities that are there that you can check out and uh, you can go to those those places. And a lot of them have seed readily available so you don't have to pay shipping costs. So if you're in the Kansas area or if you're in Nebraska or, or Missouri or Mississippi or in Oklahoma or Texas, you'll have access to this uh, readily without uh, paying for shipping. So check that out and check out uh, Growing Deer Channel. Th this guy, Dr. Grant Woods, is, uh, he is an icon uh, in deer management. Uh, I didn't grow up watching him. There's several several people that I grew up reading books from and watching, but Dr. Grant Woods has been on the cutting edge for many, many years, and uh, what he's doing there with his channel, like I said, it's been a blessing to me. I enjoy it. I'm one of those weirdos <laughs> that loves to hear about wildlife biology, deer management, 
soil conservation, those things are really important to me. And we've seen a huge difference in our deer herd. Wildlife management is where it's at. It's about being a good steward and taking care of the things that God has given us. Thank you for watching the video today. Make it a great day. Go enjoy the outdoors and may God bless you.